Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here today. We're going to talk a little bit about how to increase your sales and to fix some of the issues with your listings. In general, we're going to be covering your actual photo quality. Many times when you're item business selling, the actual quality of the photos that you use could play a big part in why it doesn't sell. The better the quality of the photo, the better your gallery image when you're actually doing the searches, the better it's going to sell. It's just proven. If you've got a bad photo, it's not going to sell very well, especially if it's not detailed and there's other issues with it. Now, I've picked a few postcards here. I'm going to actually... Um, fix these here. These are from older ones. We're actually investing some uh, a big chunk of change into labor. Right now I'm paying over half my staff just to update images. So we hit a point where I just need to do this. It needs to be addressed and fixed. The qualities have slid on the older ones compared to what I do nowadays, as well as what the majority of people do. So now I've got a ton of listing and thousands of them actually, that the images are so poor that it pushes me down a little bit um, in search or at least in you know um, who looks at my listings for those type of listings. So we're fixing them all up. I'm, I'm spending the time. We're talking thousands of listings I'm gonna go back in. We started scanning them you know months, months back. So there's a bunch that need to be addressed. But we're gonna cut over the screen and I'm just gonna show you the difference here so you can see. In some cases, it's huge. We fixed all the really bad ones here. So we're gonna do these three postcards here and we're gonna pop over to the screen right now. So here we are, this is the first one. Now I've got a terrible background in it. The image isn't very clear. There's other issues. The back is even worse than the front. This is one of the better older ones that I have. We had some that were much worse than this. It's just not a real good image here. Now I've scanned these all. I've talked about the scanners. I mean, in fact, I was just getting in a discussion with one of my Patreons about the image improvement uh, since he switched over to this scanner as well too. Um, we're gonna just sit here and just revise it. So from here, all we're going to do is slide down and I'm going to wipe out these old trashy photos and I'm going to actually do the zoom in as well. As you saw, all you see in the main view is this one image here. It's low quality. I don't think I even did it at 600 DPI. Uh, nowadays, everything's 600 DPI. Um, and literally, too, when you've had stuff up for a long length of time, they can suffer some damage and some issues from actually being slid around in storage. Um, many of the high dollar items, though, I do put in sleeves, so that's not an issue anymore. But back in the day when we listed these cards, we never sleeved anything. We didn't even think about it. So we're going to go ahead and upload some new photos, and I'm just going to show you here. Um, we'll pick the one that I have. It may take you some time to do this, but if the photos are bad compared to what you do nowadays, it's a big plus. And while you're doing that, you can also fix the title if there's some issues with the title. If it hasn't sold in a while, again, we're fixing the photos because this hasn't sold in a while. The photos weren't very good. They weren't an honest representation of the actual item. So we're going to fix that up. Now, I could have scanned these in a different direction uh, for my actual scanner, and I wouldn't have had to flip them like this. So from here, we're going to do our zoom in for the main image. Now, I picked the cutest part of the card, and I'm just gonna crop down to that. We're also going to adjust it, and what I basically do is I'm gonna take the card itself, and we're gonna compare the color of the card, and get this as dark or as natural to the actual card itself. Um, that's a key to this. Use the actual item to match the color to your screen. My screen's been calibrated and all that kind of stuff too, just because I do a lot of photo work. So you could look that up on how to do it. You can get a card in the whole works for color to make sure everything matches if that's what you'd like to do. So now this is my main image. So now we're just going to fix the other one as well and we can darken this up or not. Um, that's up to you. Again, I try to get the colors as close to the actual item as possible. So and we'll just fix the last one here. And again, the back is very bright. It just depends, again, on the card. When you're scanning both sides at the same time, you're not going to be able to adjust for both the front and the back correctly, in my personal opinion. Now, we're going to go in here and use the postage stamp for the actual color. And again, I sit there and compare it, and that's pretty darn close. So that's all there is to fixing them. We're going to do just a couple here, just so you can see. So now we're just going to go down here and we're going to update the listing. Now I've saved the original 
version of it here. So, so here is the listing fixed, and here is the listing before. It is a big difference, especially when you look at this from the gallery view. So just take that in consideration. Again, as I said, these cards have been sitting for a while. Condition could have changed. There could be some more rubbing. Any other issues could have changed. So it's good to do this every so often. So again, much better better image here versus this image here. It's a major difference in some cards, let me tell you. Getting rid of the background too, if we're switching these over to other platforms, I can't have these backgrounds. So this also became a necessity with many items that we intend to cross list because we plan on throwing these up on Amazon as well. And with Amazon, you can't have colored backgrounds in the image. So this is an improvement here on eBay as well as now I am able to cross list this item onto other platforms. That that's a big part, but again, you don't have to be cross-listing to want to do this. If the image isn't as good, spend a few minutes a day and fix a few at a time. Whatever it takes, I would recommend doing it. Let's flip and do a couple more here. So here's another one. This one does not show the image very well. We're going to keep this one open here. I've already duplicated it. We're going to revise this one as well. We'll slide down and let's delete. Again, I only had two back then. I wasn't doing zoom-ins card right here is going to be fixed. Let's go ahead and upload the images. And again, I'm uploading two images for the face. One so I can show it just at the actual size and just the way it appears. And then the other one where I can blow it up and highlight the most important part of it. I promise you it does help across the board. We've done this now for a while. We tested it. We saw our competitors doing this. And again, this goes into market research. I market research what I sell. And not just doing comp searches, but actually looking at different people, their methods for selling them, and what seems to work for them the most. So we're just going to swing it around. Again, I could have set this up so it would automatically fix them, or I could have slid them into my scanner differently. We're just going to show the most important part here. Again, I'm not hitting save between each feature. You can do it all at once at the end. I'm just going to pull out the card. I'm going to look again at the color, the brightness, and try to get it as close to the actual image as I can. So again, it depends on the card and on how much of a drastic difference you will see. Um, this is much more interesting, the, the main image that I selected, than what was here before. And even this one, getting rid of the background, is a plus two. So, again, the scanner scans each card differently based on certain factors, such as how much white or black is in the actual image or dark colors. So, you're going to have to adjust some of them no matter what. I always spend the extra few moments to do it. Uh, as long as you've got a quick internet connection, it's not a big ordeal here at all. This one's actually pretty close on the back, but we're going to darken it up just a hair. If, for example, you don't want to spend the time to do this, um, you know, and leave it as it lies, or you feel that's altering it, that's your call. I literally compare it to the actual card when I'm doing this, and that's how I decide on, you know, what I'm going to do and how it's going to look. So... Now, of course, you could just fix the cropping on the first image and leave it the way it was, if that's your call. Again, totally your call on it. I try to match the color because the scanner, as I said, can be questionable in many ways. So, um, so we'll just slide down there then, and we will update this, and we will go back in and see it again. So here is the old image. Even if you're not doing this to cross-list the actual article, it still is a big improvement. You can just tell, even without my, my zoom-in that I do have on this one here, it's still a much better image here when we look over here. This is what it shows. It shows the high part, the best part of the image. On other items, like a real photo postcard, it's a big, huge plus. It really pushes the sale. If you zoom in on the key part or a person or, or something really interesting, like if it has a train at a station, center in on the train with people getting off, something along that line. It does work, I promise you. Let's pop on to the last one here. I've got one more card that I am going to do this to. Again, I've already opened up a second one here. As you see, I duplicated it. We're going to revise this one as well. It's not a terrible image, but I promise you again, the advertising, the push on this is going to improve it by having a better quality photo. So we're going to delete these two, and we're going to now upload three. Now, I know people say the quantity of images could play a part, and eBay uses that to judge you. For the most part, I don't see that as being the case at all. 
Some items are a piece of paper. It would make no sense to require a dozen photos or anything along that line at all. So I don't see any need to upload more than these three that I do with the image quality that we have. Let's just fix the one that we're at here first, just so we don't have to slop around in the order. We're just going to darken it up to match the actual card itself. The scanner has a difference between how it scans the front and how it scans the back. Basically, it has light colors comparing it to versus the front, which has bright. So, so when you're doing duplex, you really can't set your scanner specifically for each side of the scan. So that's where the issue comes into play in here. And again, as I said with the other two that we just fixed, I could have scanned it a different direction with the card or set the scanner to actually correct my uh, cards. I just didn't do it. I'm just rushing to show these to you here. So we're going to adjust them again. Let's pull out the original. We're going to get it down. It's a night shot. You've got a little yellow showing. That's really accurate to what I'm looking at there. We're going to save it, and then we're going to move on and fix the zoom in and add a zoom in to the actual first one. So again, we're going to rotate it. Um, again, as I said, save your time when you're doing this and get the right direction to start with and um, or have your scanner set correctly. So that's the best part of this here. We're going to cut it down. And now we've got this cute zoom in picture. We're going to darken it up just a hair to match the image the best we can. And that's pretty darn close. Actually, it's a hair dark. Again, this doesn't take but a few moments a piece to do this. I'll do one whole bin, storage bin number, like this is P14. All of P14 will be done shortly. Um, we worked on P1, P2, P3, P4 yesterday, so those have many updated images. and Everyone didn't need to be updated, but for the most part, they were. So this is what we're left with here. So we're just going to go ahead here and push it up, update it. So this is the main page after we've updated versus, and we'll pop back over here, versus this. Anybody should be able to see the drastic difference. You're looking at this as well from the buyer's point of view when they're scrolling through the gallery view of images to look for. So if they're looking for a Christmas postcard with Santa, snow, this card's going to be in a list of a whole bunch. What you need to do is stand out, and this really stands out compared to this here. It's a huge difference. And again, now I can list this on Amazon or anywhere else I want to. So for me, it has a twofold return on my investment. So again, we're cross-listing. We're, we've downloaded most of our listings. We're fixing them. We're, we're categorizing them and getting ready to up them all to multiple sites, tons of listings, thousands of them all on the same day. So you got to be ready for it. So that's part of the reason we're playing into this. The other part is to improve the listings. You're going to see us doing this for a long time. And as I said, over half of my labor that we are paying for is going to do this right now. It is an investment money-wise, but the return on this investment should be incredible considering that I can now cross-list this wherever I want to do it. So that's going to increase my exposure across the web as well increasing my exposure on eBay because it's going to be a more dramatic, more appealing image in the first place. So again, this is something that will help you increase your sales in many different ways. Well, there you go. There's another thing that we do. It does increase our sales. We have tested it. You can try it yourself. A better quality image will increase your sales. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.